generally there, there's going to be quite a bit of goodwill between yourself and your, your clients and your members. But yes, there, there will be a, an onus on the organization to uh, return some of the fees. How, how best to deal with this? I would say if you haven't already undergone your, undergone your registration process, to be very upfront and to, so that your client members know that, okay, this season uh, there are, is in doubt. There are no guarantees. This is the registration fee, but there, there may be interruptions. And then if you can, have a plan from the outset that, you know, if we can deliver this much, uh, this will be the cost, this much will be returned. If we can go to a whole season or substantially a whole season, 80%, then there will be no return. If we don't have a season at all, well, then we will have to look at the return of your fee. There will be an obligation to do so. Can our policy do that? No, we, we require all our participants to, uh, to have a COVID vaccine. To say that the law is complex on this issue would be understating it. But, uh, and I'll take this, because you will find, for, if you ask six lawyers, you will find three who will say, no, uh, you can't. And you will find three who say, sure, yeah, absolutely you can have a policy and you can enforce it. My review of the cases and analysis of the issues strongly suggests that, yes, uh, you, you can have a, a COVID policy uh, where you could require employees. And in this case, you know, this, these would be your coaches, even though some are paid, some are unpaid. They, they would fall under uh, under occupational health and safety. They would be covered by that. A key risk for your organization will be that if there is no training and if something were to occur, uh, that could clearly be pointed to is that, well, uh, that's a failure on your part to exercise your due diligence. And even though a waiver may be in place that the participants or their parents or uh, whoever signs, the waiver will not... Uh, be sufficient to say that, well, no, we, you didn't train your officials on social distancing, on PPE. It does not have to be extensive, but there, there needs to be that baseline of training on, especially for those who will be on the front line with your participants and athletes, uh, what to check, how to check, and how to enforce the rules. And they should be provided guidelines on, you know, what are we looking for? Well,